Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So what we want to share with you now is a message from Kuan Yin. And, you know, this, she actually came through at the same time earlier when we did the message from Aset, who is known to most as Isis. Um, again, the mothers, they want to help whoever wants their help. It's just that simple. Ask and you may receive. They do. They all carry a distinct vibration. They all carry a distinct feeling and how they wish to nurture. And just like we all do, we all carry a distinct way of how we wish to nurture other entities that might need help. And this is this is what what came through with Kuan Yin. And what happens is I, I uh, get these words and stuff that go through my head and they just won't stop until... I'm able to speak it until I'm able to express it. And when I'm able to express that emotion, then I, I can rest. So these mothers really, really want to come through um, and show themselves to you and let you know that they really are there. They're definitely there to help and to offer their assistance in any way. And as you guys may know, most of you probably do know, you know, we are going to be leaving the Kali Yuga. We are, we are basically saying goodbye to a dark age in which these beautiful benevolent beings of love, light, and compassion are very far away from us in a vibrational sense. So it's harder for them to, to reach us. Uh, when we're in deep in these Kali Yugas, and as we come out of them and start the ascension paths, a path it, it gets easier and easier to communicate with them and as more people are tuned on to the higher frequencies you will be able to reach them and they'll be able to reach you uh in ever increasing numbers they'll be able to help manifest beautiful benevolent positive outcomes in the world around us you know again they are all about free will and and human human ability to choose our own way so we have to ask them uh, in order for them to come into our lives now many times we've asked them before we even come into the body and so in some uh, cases there will be these beautiful benevolent things that happen to us simply from past life experience connection with them and past lives and also agreements before we go into this uh, incarnation, which, you know, while we're in the incarnation, we might not have any idea of. Right, exactly. And as you listen to Kuan Yin, <clears throat> I want you to feel your body, feel your emotions, and see if if she's speaking to you. Because your body and your heart and your emotions are definitely going to tell you um, she's speaking to me. And this is someone that can help me in this in this age to get through my, my tough times or just get through any times. Absolutely. And, you know, just an amazing benevolent being. We have given her mantra before. And so we will go over that again. And, you know, who really is uh, Kuan Yin? When you get to these beings, uh, they are known in different places by slightly different names and names are just vibrational frequencies really ultimately mm -hmm. we're trying to match a what we need is from a human perspective we need to name something i need to you know have a name for you so i could recognize you but in reality it, it's a vibrational frequency every single being is carrying its own unique vibrational frequency so who is the bodhisattva Kuan yin uh, and you'll see it's spelled both with a G or a K. Again, it depends on where, you know, what location we are talking about. Um, and Kuan Yin is one of the most venerated deities in the Buddhist tradition. Additionally, she holds a special place in the hearts of the people of other faiths, including Confucians and Taoists. And, you know, one thing that I've discovered, I always saw myself... And, you know, I had such comfort in everything Buddhist uh, as a kid and Taoist. And I didn't really understand why, you know, until you go deeper. And, and then I started getting glimpses of past lives. And, you know, I could remember clearly for, for quite a time, um, two past lives. 
you know, one of which I lived in the Tibetan plateau and basically lived in a cave along with uh, our a teacher or whether you want to call it Sifu or Guru um, and other students. And, you know, and as time has gone on and, you know, I'm blessed with such an amazing partner in my life that has exceptional abilities you know, it, it, it's been so fascinating to uncover many more details of this. And it seems to me that in between my incarnations of trying to help others in the manner that we're doing now, I'll usually jump back into an incarnation, you know, where basically all I'm doing is I'm living a, a, a lifestyle of a monk, which so appeals to me. And it's because I've had so many incarnations. And so th those incarnations have tied me to Kuan Yin, so okay. to speak. Mm -hmm. This is this is why there's such a, a solid anchor between us. And so it might not be something that I really understood until just recent years. And it might be the same with you as well. You might find a certain draw uh, to Buddhism or, or any of these other traditions that are out there. So Moreover, Guan Yin or Kuan Yin is worshipped in Shaolin, as well as other famous temples dedicated to her. And it goes on to speak of many in many different places like Sri Lanka, India, Japan, and Tibet. The name translates as the one who perceives the sounds of the world. And, you know, again, uh, she's kind of a universal goddess, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so she's a bodhisattva, a bodhisattva of compassion. So this is a being that could be merged back with source. It's, she's so advanced that she could merge all the way back with source. But as in the bodhisattva tradition, she helps others. She is staying um, away from that final step and reunion with source in order to help pull as many upward as possible. So she is absolutely just an amazing being of, of pure love and compassion. And so we see she has a strong resonance with Mary, the mother of Yeshua. Um, as, and, you know, they come to us as a group all the time, as, as we've, we've let you guys know. And, and we did find out there's going to be more coming into our core group as, as things progress and as we reach more people. But our core group is both Marys, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, uh, Kuan Yin, and also Aset, and Lakshmi, and White Buffalo Calf Woman. So, you know, a variety of different traditions, they all work together. And then also Yeshua is, is often uh, with us as well. And has you know brought us so many different messages throughout the time, and and really every time I work on somebody energetically, uh, Yeshua helps, mm -hmm. and that has been the case. <laughs> so yes, um, amazing being, and you know goddess of mercy, goddess of compassion, pure pure loving being. So I'll give you guys the links. Uh, so again you can practice this mantra. It's pretty uh, simple. And Namo Guan Shi Yin Pu Sa. Namo Guan Shi Yin Pu Sa. Or you could in other dialects, Namo Guan Shi Yin Pu Sa. It's the intention. So don't get so caught up in pronouncing things, you know, perfect. It, it's where's your heart at? Where's your vibration at? Just as we've talked about so often, it's not about the right dogma. It's about love, compassion emanating from your heart, that desire to help others. Right. That's, that's the most important thing is holding that desire in your heart while you do these mantras. You know, the pronunciation will come on its own. Everybody has a unique way. Everybody has a unique uh, frequency, and your frequency is going to express differently from mine, differently from Mike's, but it's the uniqueness that you want to embrace. So, yeah, please don't get caught up in the vocabulary as much as you are caught up in expression. Often in the middle of the night, if I can't sleep, I'll start doing mantras, and sometimes I'll roll them together 
um, in, in various ways because there are so many different links between these beautiful benevolent beings. And, you know, they've shared with me, uh, there is no imperfection. You know, when it, when it comes from the heart, it doesn't matter if your voice cracks. It doesn't matter, you know, if you're off key. Um, it doesn't matter. It's all about the love and that desire uh, to help others and, and to help, well, to want to be part of the team that is out there helping others. Right. And the the way you do it is different from everybody else. It's, it's very unique. It's very important. So really embrace yourself. They love that uniqueness and, and they, they do not condemn us for human, you know, so-called human flaws, uh, frailties, what we might perceive as weaknesses. You know, they view it all just simply as a unique expression of who we are. And so they, they don't judge us like that. They don't judge us. And that's the beauty of things. It's very, very different than what we see, you know, say coming out of the Old Testament, where it's all about judgment. It's not like that when you get up into the, these higher densities. These, these beings are nothing but love. And, you know, unfortunately, the dark side has convinced so many people to be fearful of the ones that are full of love and compassion. Nothing but love and compassion. But again, that's part of the twisted nature of this matrix that we are in. Yep, and it's our job to help unfold it. So this is going to be Kuan Yin being channeled uh, by Cindy, and this is a, a trance channeling. So she's basically out. Uh, she kind of steps out of her body, and Kuan Yin steps in. Thank you. Namaste. Mm. Namaste, namaste, my little children. I wish to invite you closer to me. I wish to invite you close to my energy to help you heal. You are my beautiful children whom I love and I adore. You are. You bring me so much delight. I wish to express my love and gratitude and appreciation toward you. I wish to ask you to be free, to be loving, to not be afraid to love one another. Any of my children who wish to be close to me, I want to help heal your hearts so that you may express yourselves freely. I love all of my children. I love each and every one of you for your individuality. I wish for you to know that everything about you is perfect in every way. I wish for you to know and understand that this journey that you are on is a journey that I once was on as well. You can see me much like your higher self if you are drawn toward my energies then you and I are very much the same we are the same so having much the same experiences but on different ways 
I wish to guide you and assist you on your path of healing and awakening. I wish to wrap my arms around you and protect you in every way possible. But I also wish for you to have your own experiences in this world in which you chose to incarnate. There are many questions that we have in our life as we are walking our path as we are experiencing, I feel many of you asking yourselves, why must I endure such pain? Why must my heart ache so? These are all experiences that you chose to feel and learn from. And in many ways, it is to bring you closer to your creator, to your source, and to your higher self. I want you to embrace these energies. I want you to accept them. I want you to understand them. These are emotions and energies that are here to teach you on your path to awakening and oneness. It is important to find acceptance at any time in your life. These feelings of acceptance help one find peace and understanding You are all very important to me. You are all my children. If you are having difficulty, please reach out to me. Call out to me as I will pour my love and my understanding upon you to help bring you healing, to help nurture you in those times when you feel you are alone, when you are not alone. I'm always here as long as you invite my energies, then I may come and help you on your journey, on your path. It is my honor and I am very grateful for anyone who chooses to allow me to assist them on their journey. Thank you. Thank you, Kanye. Namaste. Namaste. So that was the message from Guan Yin. And we just wanted to share that with you. You know, feel free if it resonates with you to reach out to her because she will bless you uh, most mm -hmm. definitely. Absolutely. And she has this presence about her that feels um, uniquely like, oh gosh, she's just so accepting. You know, there's no fear in coming to her that you have to check yourself or check to see who you are. Or is she going to like me? None of that. None of that. She, she's not about judging. She's about accepting. Yeah. I remember when you, you were first touching on her energy and you were saying that, you know, she is so approachable. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. You know, and that's the thing, these beings on, on the higher densities, they don't judge us. They understand, you know, they have been where we are. In some cases, you know, thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions of years ago, as there are always new souls being birthed by source. 
And so some are ancient, ancient souls that have had so many lives, countless lives, been through everything you can imagine on many different planes of existence, many different planets, different star systems. They, they know a little bit better than some of the younger souls that, you know, this is their first go around. And, you know, unfortunately, it's, it's so many of the younger souls that get caught up in the matrix that we're in and, and can't quite see through it simply because they, they haven't had that much experience yet. Mm -hmm. But when we talk about a being like Guan Yin, you know, she understands perfectly where we are coming from because she has been there too. And now she's on a much, much higher plane. And she again could merge back in with source, but chooses to stay and help all the other souls along the way because she is so full of mercy and compassion. Right. And, you know, as we're talking about <clears throat> beings who want to reach out and help, there's a couple of our family members that um, are extremely helpful. It's like they're a little bit older to our generation. And we always talk about the star seeds, you know, and alluding to those are the, the young ones that are coming up. But we do have so many star seeds that are a little older, that have been around the block, that seem to me that they came here to break the ice for other people. And, and I feel she would definitely um, want to reach out to them as well because they have done so much to get us to this point where we're not afraid to speak about who we are. We're not afraid to speak about, oh, uh, what star system am I from? We're no longer afraid of these things because we have a lot of these other family members that, that came in before us and kind of broke the ice to where to where we're at today. And I'm just so grateful to all of you. Yes, and, and we ourselves are personally grateful to the mothers for bringing back into our lives people that we've worked with in past lives. Yes. And uh, it, it's wonderful to be able to connect on this, uh, you know, this plane of existence with beings that we've worked with and, and other incarnations and recognizing that's a blessing in the times to come many will start to remember past lives this will be mm -hmm. this will be part of the awakening and so you know as that happens everything changes because we no longer can fall prey to you know belief systems that are all about fear and control because we simply will know yeah, and we will not be able to be controlled. And, and this is what has the controllers in a panic and a tizzy because they know that time is, is right around the corner. It's starting to manifest right now. So if so inclined, please do reach out to Kuan Yin and, and she will definitely bless you with love and compassion and mercy. Very much so. As always, guys, thanks for your support. We couldn't do it without you guys, um, especially those at Patreon, Ko-Fi, and those that are also helping to support us through medicinal foods. As always, God bless. And namaste. Namaste.